Christopher Walken may need more cowbell. I gotta have more cowbell! But I need more Astrodon filters. I'm John Robinson, the Astrotard. This is Deep Sky. Okay, so I got another shipment from Cloudbreak Optics. These are the sulfur and oxygen Astrodon 3 nanometer filters to complement the hydrogen 3 nanometer. Okay, let's open this guy. Let's see, that's the oxygen. And this one is the sulfur. 3 nanometer, 36 millimeter, unmounted. Perfect. Really happy with the uh, Hydrogen Alpha 3 nanometer. I think uh, if you guys have seen that video, you, you've seen the results of that. Let's see if these guys are giving me any indication about mounting direction. Their website said it doesn't matter which direction you're mounted in. Let's see if this says. Okay, this says if you break the tamper-proof seal, you bought it. Okay, so I'm breaking the seal, so I guess I bought it. Okay, third seal from Astrodon here. Let me seal them right. So the clear side without the double reflection is the side that needs to go towards the camera. And in my case, in the filter wheel, this side that goes up. Okay, O3, 3 nanometer, 36 millimeter unmounted. Perfect. This one's the oxygen here, sulfur here. You do the reflection test, use our screwdriver. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Okay, well, let's put them in. You guys have seen this before. I almost dropped that one. Rest in peace, Rick Ocasek. The cars. All right, so here's what we got here. Let's move this guy out a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> in position one is the Astrodon HA, three nanometer. Position two is red, green, and blue. Three, four. Two, three, and four is red, green, blue. Here's the seven nanometer H, oxygen and sulfur from ZWO. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my loom back in position one, and I'm going to remove RGB, and, and I'll just run with loom which is a light pollution filter, three nanometer uh, Astrodons and seven nanometer ZWOs. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, there's the astronomic light pollution filter. I'll put that in the position one. And I'll move, first thing I'll do is I'll remove the RGBs here. So I'm just gonna mark the, this uh, filter tray so I know which filter is which in case I forget. So I'll just put a little R here. OK. 
Okay. B goes in the B position. Like that. RGB. We'll lock that up. Seal it tight. See, the reason I'm doing this is I really don't need RGB for nebula season. I really need RGB for galaxy season, and that's sort of uh, come and gone. It's we're getting back, we're getting the Milky Way back now, so it's time to do ne more nebulas. Okay, now if you remember, the H Alpha Astrodon was in position one. We want that in position two now, and we'll put the light pollution filter the astronomic loom in position one. All right. Okay, there's the EHA, three nanometer. Put him in position two now. Magnetic screwdrivers, highly recommended. Okay, there's my EHA. Let's go back for the the astronomic this is my loom now. Now, I don't know if I told you guys, but my loom is actually mounted. This is the astronomic mounted light pollution filter. This is the ZW, ZWO loom filter, and I think it's just basically clear glass. But this one is actually light pollution filter, and occasionally I may shoot this one. Okay, now we're ready for oxygen and sulfur. So that's the double reflection. I want that facing down or away from the camera. So I will turn that guy over. Now what I'm really excited about is the oxygen because the ZWO's seven nanometer oxygen is famous for leaving halos. And I think most filters leave halos with the oxygen. Uh, but Astrodon, three nanometer, Supposedly, they've worked really hard to get rid of halos. So we'll find out. We'll shoot some images for you and let you see for yourself. So there you have it. In position one is the loom filter. It's mounted. Position two is the Astrodon AHA, unmounted. Astrodon oxygen, position three. Position four is the sulfur from Astrodon. Five is the ZWO AHA, seven nanometer. Six is the oxygen, seven nanometer. Seven is the sulfur, seven nanometer. There you go, I've taken my RGBs out. Let's put this guy back together. So you'll notice that this is in position three, which is the oxygen, three, three nanometer astrodon, and it's not quite centered in there. I'm not worried about that. The filter wheel software in Sequence Generator Pro will detect which position it's in and will rotate it properly. So no worries there. The camera goes on this side. This is the side where the non-reflective surfaces are. And this guy goes for into the moonlight autofocuser. And this is the one and a quarter inch here, and this is the one and a quarter to two inch converter here. Tighten that guy up. Okay, you'll notice here that the bottom of the lettering lines up with the bottom of my telescope. Um, but since I did take this filter wheel off, and I'm sure that this is not rotated in the same position, I'm going to have to run some new calibration frames, or at least some new flats, since the dust bunnies are in different locations now. Okay, so the results are in. I stayed up late last night working on my Astrodon filters for both the oxygen and sulfur, and wow. Okay, first of all, let me say that the, the oxygen does a really great job of getting rid of the halos. I haven't seen any of those in the, in the new runs that I've done. Here's an example uh, showing you an oxygen run from a seven nanometer and a three nanometer. 
And then the sulfur also does a better job of, of just getting cleaner data. I, I think overall, and here's an example of the sulfur of the same area, three nanometer and seven nanometer. Overall, I'm very pleased with three sulfur. I think this is gonna uh, produce some incredible images. Look at this, this is the a four panel mosaic of the heart and fish nebula that I did in just H alpha. And you can see in the lower left there that it's a cleaner, sharper image uh, coming from the seven nanometer. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helps you make your decision. Hit the subscribe button if you like it, and we'll do this again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.